Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. Very important notice. Giga Berlin is just going insane. We will look into footages, but first of all, just for your information, in Germany, and we took a bit longer than other European countries here, Norway, Sweden, Belgium, Netherlands were one of the first. But now in Germany, we have more and more superchargers actually being open to other EVs. I personally think that for those superchargers that are currently not occupied too much during the day or during the week or whenever, Tesla is able to offer other EV drivers to charge. Why not? It is something where people might think about buying a Tesla later on if they maybe switch their brand. And this could be an argument to buy a Tesla later on. Now, now we come to what I th think and not only think, but we have talked about the production numbers many times. Just look at all the trailers. It is just getting insane. And someone was actually making its hard work and was counting all of them. I mean, we are looking at over 32 carriers and that is just a moment where we are catching those carriers. So this is just getting insane here, guys. So we are really ramping. Just look at all the people um, coming with buses, coming with the train, by the way. They are currently building a local S-Bahn. So maybe for someone who was in Germany before, they know what it is. It is pretty much a local train. Um, they're gonna build that as well. Then we have Giga Shanghai wholesales. So at the same time as Giga Berlin is ramping very, very well here, and you see how much is going on here, we have Giga Shanghai with a wholesale that might exceed 100,000 cars in September. And remember, we had August, it was a month that was okay. Um, based on current status, it is um, better than all the other months that we had in 2021. So it's a very, very good month. But never forget, Tesla has bigger goals and 100,000 cars per month is something they want to achieve. You also have here the Model 3 being much less um, than expected. Again, this is also due to the upgrade and we also know that the Model 3 is having not such a big upgrade and ramp up um, like the Model Y. We have discussed that as well before. So you clearly see that Tesla is not only ramping in Giga Berlin, but ramping in such a speed in Giga Berlin. We have discussed that on my live stream. Maybe maybe they are able to reach the 4,000 to 5,000 cars per week much faster than expected. So right now we are still looking at around about 2,000 cars, but we have discussed that many times that by end of October or beginning of October, it's supposed to be by around 3,000 cars. So that is the goal they have set. We all know stuff can happen in between. So this could actually indicate the new colors to come in the fourth quarter, as I mentioned, um, based on the 3000 cars per week. I mean, that is a ton of cars and I can just not imagine. I mean, I would like to that the demand is so high, but I cannot imagine that they are producing 3000 cars that just have black seats, white colors, black colors outside. It's something that would, if that's the case in October and they're still not um, doing any other colors, that would offset any kind of estimations when it comes to, to the demand um, point, because that would indicate that we have just too crazy demand for the Model Y performance and long range from Germany. So let's see what this is all playing out, guys. But Giga Berlin is just ramping, 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 ramping. And you see more and more people working there. So that's a good indicator, as we discussed as well, the lack of good employees that we have currently in Germany, in case you were wondering what I'm talking about. So um, I really appreciate your time. Don't forget, I'm for a week in vacation. Um, you can check out um, many other videos coming during the week, um, the coming week. And I hope to see you back here um, up to date on Sunday, the 18th or latest Monday, the 19th of September. I would glad to welcome you back here and thank you for all your support on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider doing so. It really helps. I would like to grow a nice community of people here 
um, being interested in Tesla cars. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.